with nobody telling me anything. Soon as I win and I win and I win again. Kobe for three, I'm like Jack on the block and I'm bringing a hype like LeBron in the spot. I mean, everybody want a piece of the pie when you up, but when you down, nobody got the time. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Gary. And today I'm going to you guys a new video, and this is going to be on how to create the one of the most appealing and one of the most amazing webcam overlays that I've seen on YouTube so far. And the reason I'm doing this for you guys is because I want to see you guys bring out the best content that you guys can. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. So well, before I go on with this, you guys can download this right now in the description. There will be a self link. It will cost $1 to buy this, and all these funds will go towards my new computer to buy more parts for it and to get my streams going up. So we'll definitely go check that out. It will be also going towards my new logo. So before I start this video, I want to have you guys do a little poll in the comment section below. Um, I'm getting a new logo, and I want to either keep the polar bear look or a grizzly bear. So pretty much comment below. You guys want to see a bear, what kind, polar bear, or grizzly bear, and let me know. So let's get right into it. So well, this is actually really easy to do and it does not involve a lot of things at all. So let's just start right into it. I made a little backing right here a little bit before. This is also part of one of my uh, thumbnail templates also be in the description below and also on my selfie. So uh, first of all, how you want to start this off is just make a new layer 1280 by 720 or new document. And basically what this is going to be is our backbone for our overlay. So just drag it in. Put it in and then just shrink it and just center it and you don't really have to center it it just makes it easier when you're doing some stuff so center it don't make it too big don't make it too small just kind of put it medium doesn't really matter that much and then go to right here to the right side put your fill down to zero right click on that little square that you made and then put a stroke on it so when you put the stroke on you guys want to mess around with sizes usually 14 is the way to go this is what i'm going to be using for this and what you want to do is just duplicate that you see right here in these arrows, just click those, this cleans everything up, and then put your fill back to 100%, and just pretty much drag this down, and put a little gap between them like that, and then you guys can just cut the, uh, cut the bottom off like a little bit like this, that's pretty good, merge these two, and before we go on any further you guys are going to need something in the description below download that this will be a stock pack it is free and you guys want to open it and just pretty much hide this layer and just grab this orange light and this is going to be pretty much our uh, stock that we're going to be using so just hold alt and apply it to your thing and then right here is where you guys can start going wherever you want with the colors i'm going to hit Control u bring up the hue and saturation and you guys can pretty much make it any color you guys would want i'm going to be making in mine a nice little blue color right here so it's negative 145 just in case anybody's wondering and uh, this is going to be pretty much just the back ground of the back colors. So uh, before we go any further what you want to do is just click on the bottom on the don't touch or wherever you guys are doing the bottom layer. Make a black color, grab your rectangle tool and just make a rectangle right here behind your text or behind your uh, square. Make a new layer, hold alt and then put a clipping mask onto it, zoom out. And then grab your brush size and put it to a size decently high, like around like 400 or 500. Make sure it's white and just kind of click right here in the halfway through in the middle. And then lower the opacity to like 20 or 10. Either or. It's going away later. And this is just going to be something to work on. So well, before we go any further, we're going to start working on the uh, bottom right here, this donation bar. And you can really not make that that big. You can cut it a little bit more. And this is going to be where our donations go. So the way we're going to do this is actually really easy and really clean. We're just going to make a new layer above it. And you see right here on this little side, we're going to click the rectangle right there. And just make a little square. And then we're going to pretty much position it right on that angle and bring it downwards. And just kind of center it a little bit. like that all right and then you want to double click right here put that to black grab your polygon tool and cut the one side off make sure it's rasterized excuse me go to right click rasterize and just cut that side off cut the little excess stuff that gets attached if it's there duplicate edit transform and flip 180 degrees and just kind of drag it over to the side duplicate it and drag it over again and line it up to this so well basically this is going to be where our uh donation names go and uh you have to do this stuff on obs but it's nice to add it here so right here would be the name it would be like uh bear designs or bear underscore plays my twitch account and be the money that i donated a million dollars because i'm broke 
and this is gonna be pretty much our uh, starting off. So let's get right into the extra stuff to make it cooler. So what we're gonna do is pretty much just make a new layer below everything except for that uh, that back screen. That's the last thing we're gonna touch. Grab your little uh, polygon tool, or I think it's called the polygon tool. I'm gonna keep calling it the polygon tool until I get corrected. Click right here, hold shift to make a diagonal line, and just kind of bring it into the middle. It doesn't really matter exactly where you put it. It's gonna be uh, hidden anyway. It's gonna be something else to add. And make it white, but I accidentally made it black. Just hitting control I, I'll fix it. And uh, you don't have to make it too big or too small. Just don't make it really small. Hitting control J again, duplicate it. Oops. Go to edit, transform, and flip horizontally. And then bring it to the other side. So, well, uh, the next thing what you guys want to do is just merge these two. Layer sixes is number, remember what layers they are. Edit, transform, and flip vertically. And just bring these to the bottom. It's just something that adds like a little flare to it. And don't make them pop out too much. Just kind of zoom in. The more you guys zoom in, by the way, the more like extra, I guess, space you guys have. So after you guys got that, make a new layer under those. And you're going to pretty much do the same thing, but with a black color this time as we did before. And it just creates like a nice wing effect. And then duplicate it. Actually, don't duplicate. Just move it over a little bit. Actually, I can leave it there. Sorry. Duplicate it. Edit, transform, and flip horizontally. And then put that there. Merge these layers into the same thing. Edit, transform, and flip a vertically again. I said, I said vertically a lot. I meant horizontal in the beginning, but I got vertical stuck in my head. And then you guys can put that in the same position. So... Basically, you guys got your wings, and now it's time to add your logo. So basically, you guys are adding your logo, and as I said before, polar bear, grizzly bear, let me know in the comments below right now. So right here, I have my original logo. I'm going to bring that into my template thing. Take off that color overlay that I have and mix to make it plain on white. So uh, white's going to be pretty much our color of choice with this for adding cool effects. We're not going to be adding any extra layer styles. You guys can in your own version but for my version I'm gonna keep it all white it's kind of a clean look and just kind of center this as best as possible it usually centers itself usually this kind of clicks in zoom in and then go below that and make a new layer and grab the ellipse tool and just kind of make a circle around your logo nothing too fancy just gonna be something to add then cl click right here where your orange light is your colors drag it above your ellipse and then just add it to your lips and just kind of drag it up to the top right hand corner. Just add something cool. Just, just to add a little extra effects, you know how it is. Because you never want to keep the same stuff. You never want to keep it. See, so you guys got that. It's kind of plain. Move it around a little more. It's not where there's a lot of lines. Whatever, that's good. So what I'm gonna do is just hit this ellipse again and grab the bottom version, hitting Control J and just bring it to the bottom. And then center this again so that there's kind of an extra ring around it and put the fill to like 16%. Nothing crazy again. And you guys got that so far. So basically this is almost it. Nothing else too fancy to add. As I said, fancy about a million times. Make a new layer and then grab another brush, about a size like 120-ish and just kind of brush the outside of this overlay to make a nice drop shadow and this drop shadow really adds to your videos it kind of creates like a more of a depth and this is actually placed on something and then lower the fill to like 50 percent grab your little cutting tool your polygon tool your square tool and just cut out each square like that and then you guys are set so if you guys want to save this right now what you want to do is pretty much just um hide this layer right here and then hide your backgrounds and you guys will see this little checkerboard thing. This is going to be pretty much implying that you guys can actually uh, save it and there'll be no background. Save it and then you guys can import it to OBS and exploit YouTube, whatever you guys want to add. But uh, basically, I'm going to talk a little bit now while you guys are watching me make some other stuff because I'm bored and I like making stuff. So uh, as you guys said, as you guys heard me before, I'm going to be getting a new logo. I'm not too sure if who I'm going to be choosing to make it yet. I have a few mascot logo designers in mind that I'm friends with. And uh, I'm going to be making it 
probably relatively soon. I'm very curious on I want to hear you guys' thoughts on what I should make, either a polar bear or a grizzly bear. It has to be something with the name bear, so I'm either thinking one of those. If you guys have any awesome ideas, let me know in the comments below. And basically what this is going to be doing is going to be my new stream and Twitch logo as well as my new YouTube logo. And it's just something really cool to add and really cool to have people use. I'll be making more apparel with it and it'll just be something really nice. So right there I just added a nice live button, just something to add, something out of the blue. So uh, right here, you guys will see this, you guys can go download this this exact copy that we made in the description right now for a dollar. So uh, basically that's all I'm going to be saying for you guys. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know right now in the comments below. Also hit me up on my email or Skype or Twitter. I do check all of them pretty much every day and I'll be glad to help you with anything that you guys need. If you guys have any questions, you guys want to show me some work that you made, hit me up on Twitter at Bear Designs and I'll be seeing you guys later on. Also, follow my Twitch. I'll be streaming in a little bit. Peace out.